hello guys this is zion blood tv guys you're welcome to my channel zion blood tv yes guys i would like you to watch this video to the end yes positive confession which is a very important in our life positive confession even the bible itself said let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i'm rich what you confess your confession is powerful your confession is very powerful that is why numbers 14 28 the bible says whatever i hear you say so if you said i will die death will come because the lord says whatever i hear you say numbers 14 28 whatever i hear you say that is what i will do so if you say i am dying it may not be long the spirit of death will magnet what you are saying and come if you keep saying every time i'm poor, I'm poor, I'm poor the spirit of poverty will continue to hang around you because your word is powerful that is why proverb made it so clear that power of life and death lies in your tongue what you decree what you say your declarations your declarations matters when jesus jesus said to his apostles let us go and wake our friend lazarus he is sleeping jesus was away that the man have died even spent four days in the grave but jesus said let's go and wake our friend that is sleeping what do you say jesus went to a barrier of a 12 years old child he he entered there and noticed that they're already singing and dancing he said no the child is not dead the child is just sleeping positive words what do you say For your word is powerful. You can change your world with your word. I am great. What do you say in the morning? What do you say in the afternoon? What do you say concerning you? At night, before you sleep, what are the things you say concerning your destiny? What do you say concerning your children? How many times do you lay hand on them and say, Oh my son, son you're great. You're great. I can see you're a great son. You are going higher. You are going higher. You hold his head. Say you are going higher. You will not fail this time. You will not fail. It's not trying to ignore your son. After wasting money to send you in school. This is three years. The exam that your other mate are taking once. You have been taking this exam three times. Wasting my money and your dad's money. A failure like you. A failure like you. That child will even fall the eight times. But when you see that you are shy, you can even go when he's sleeping on his he hold his and say, You will pass. You are great. You are favored. That time you are saying it, you are awakening the sleeping giant in him. Woman, what do you say to your husband? A come man a bed. A foolish man, big for nothing. And the man will control to be fool. There is tra powerful transaction on your tongue. A man a bed, foolish man. Your husband will control to be foolish. What do you say? I am great. I'm lifted. Darkness can cover the nation. But upon me, light will shine. 
you are not just seeing what is happening around you now, but you are seeing future. I am lifted. I am a chosen generation. A holy nation. A royal priesthood. God's own purchase. A special species. But what do you say concerning you? Uh, this suffering is too much. A woman was asking, uh, na karake abu kwa karake enwe. Brother Ebuka, this destiny, this is my destiny. Evangelist Ebuka, I am sure that this is my destiny is a destiny of monkey. You cannot tell me. Look at the way she put it. Check, you go to the Akarama Akarakama of Udin Kenwek. Oh, that this is for years. I've been struggled, nothing. You can imagine how destiny of monkey will be. That is something that someone is using to refer to himself or herself. It must be positive in your utterances. The same, way, the same thing with your sick mother, sick sister sick brother tell them to keep saying i am healed i am alive i am not dying what do you say you are sick and you are saying i'm tired let me not stress my children anymore it will not be long you will die because that time you say i don't want to stress them anymore let me just go and rest the spirit of death will magnet you that is what they want you to say but at that sick bed you say oh no i will leave i will leave madam death will be far from you Look at David. When attack was so heavy on David, when attack, they were Philistines were looking for him. Saul was looking, he was about to die the way, but he said, No, Psalm 23. If I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I shall no fear any evil. If I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall not die. I shall live. Look at David. Psalm 11817. When death surrounded him, he said in Psalm 11817, I shall not die. I shall live and testify the goodness of the Lord. Positive utterances can change your destiny than negative utterances. Most of us prefer to say negative words just to please our friends so that somebody will help you you are using negative words on yourself so that somebody will help you you are using negative words on yourself so that somebody will help you my brother you don't know what you're doing to yourself what is the utterances you use for yourself What do you say? Look at David. David fought a war. Eh? All the life of David was war, 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 war. Before he became a king, after he became a king, he was not a free man. So that is why you listen to the, the words he used. He never said, I'm dying today. He keeps saying in some in some 86 verse 13. He said, my God, deliver me from the power of graveyard. He said in Psalm 102 verse 20, hey, he delivered those who are appointed to die. Psalm 79, 11, David also said he delivered those who are condemned to die because attack was all over him. He never used the negative words. What are the words you are using? Psalm 2. What are you saying? You think that you, you think because you are poor today or wretched today that you will, you will remain wretched? No. It's turn by turn. You will not die. That you are wretched today does not mean it will continue. Money have wings. It can fly to you tomorrow. And I prophesy that is already flying to you after this program. Amen. Amen. 
Am I communicating? Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't underrate yourself and underrate your God. Mm. I don't know if somebody's listening to me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't look down on what God can do. He can make all things possible in a twinkle of eye. Sirach 11, 21. Oh, he can make a promise. So then I stand rich. Don't think you will remain like this. No condition is permanent. God is the one that validates. He lifts another up and brings another down. So you don't need to be afraid. Continue to speak positively. Make a plan. Have a big, bigger plan. If somebody is telling you to go and buy one, to say, no, I have a plan of building mansion in this place. My brother, think very big. For I say, man, or think it. So he is. Think very big. Because your God is a very big God. Because after this program, somebody is going to be expand extraordinary. Amen. Amen. Hello. Hi. What do you say concerning your soul? I am great. Look at what look at the Bible said. He said, he said, Oh, you will be a leader, not a follower. You will be a lender, not a borrower. The Bible says you'll be a lender, and you're telling yourself, I, I, I'm a poor man. Poor man like me. Let me go as a poor man. Every time you're using your wretched, keep saying poor. Poverty will begin to follow you. Reject poverty is not a good thing. Don't use it so that people will pity you. Those that are rich today were once poor sometime. Keep saying. In the morning, I am healed. Sickness is not my portion. Second Corinthians 3. First Corinthians 3 16. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be sick. You know, we refuse to be sick. I refuse to be sick. Because Jeremiah 32 27, he is the God of all flesh. Nothing is impossible. So my flesh is not sick. Because Romans 8 11, my flesh is not sick. The Bible says, if that spirit that raised Jesus from dead lives in me, he who raised Christ will give life to my mortal body. So my mortal body is not sick. I am not sick. Because First Peter 24 by his wounds i am healed oh i'm not sick i refuse to be sick because isaiah 53 1 to 4 he carried my infirmity and my disease and by stripes i'm delivered i refuse to be sick i am now sick my brother keep saying the word the word of god is sharper than to eager sword jeremiah 23 29 i wash my word to fulfill it no, my word is like hammer and a fire that shatter the sickness into pieces. Jeremiah 1 to if I am washing my word to fulfill. So when you begin to quote, the sickness will disappear because you eat and live with the word of God. Positive declaration. I am not sick. Death is not my portion. I'm not dying. Because First Corinthians fifteen fifty four, the Bible says fifty four, fifty five, fifty six. Death, where is your power? For you have been swallowed in victory. So death, where is your power? And First Corinthians fifteen fifty seven. Thanks be to God who has given us victory in Christ Jesus. So death, where is your power? I'm not dying at all i'm not dying because john 14 19 because jesus live i shall also live i am not dying because some 16 verse 11 or 11 16 my god will show me the path that lead to life i am not dying because hebrew 7 17 he 16 hebrew 7 16 he have the power of life that cannot be destroyed therefore i'm not dying you will see that death will be far from you, no matter their plans against you. Positive declaration. Let me not take your time anymore. Positive confession. Confess morning, afternoon, night, in the midnight. When you wake up, you say, Lord, I know that good luck is my portion. Good luck is following me today. Don't curse yourself. Many of us are suffering because of their words, what they have said with their mouth concerning them, concerning their children.